Hey guys, this is Dahmer's Cool Stuff here, and this is another $15 challenge. This time, it's GameCube. If you need to know the basics of the $15 challenge, it's simple. I can't spend no more than $15.99 on the games. This is including tax, and it's console specific. This, con this time, console specific was GameCube. Why? Because I don't have too many GameCube games, and I'd like to get a little bigger collection going. Plus, I sold a Super Nintendo to a friend of mine with a couple games, so I had some spare cash. Re reinvest it into the collection, so to speak. Now, this is coming with a warning. The first time in this short series that I've actually broken the $15.99 challenge, so to speak. $16.21. I actually went $0.22 cents over, technically speaking. But that's because GameStop has buy two get one free on PSP, PS2, and GameCube games. It also became aware that GameStop doesn't take GameCube games anymore. So I was like, let me snatch some up real quick. What's up, man? What are you picking up today? Trying for some GameCube stuff. I have a poster. I need that. I have that. It's not going to change my car. I don't have any. I'm going to get it in the anymore. What, the GameCube? Yeah, you don't, change yeah, you don't take the GameCube? Oh, okay. When do you stop it's taking the PS2 stuff? Never. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. usually that's the first sign where the cases all get kept. So this is the six games that I got. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Kind of a cutesy type of platformer, if I'm not mistaken. You know, it has the case, the game, the instructions. It's a Sega game. It's very weird from what I can understand of it. Definitely going to give it a crack at some point in time. Then I got Metal Arms Glitch in the System, which actually has pretty much everything. Um, registration card, it even has this dude, Hickey, the action controls with Glitch in the back. It's very reminiscent of Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank style of gameplay, if I'm not mistaken. I've never played it before, but I would like to give this a crack now. Fight Night Round 2. The GameCube version of Round 2 actually came with a copy of uh, Super Punch-Out. So technically, if we want to get technical, I got two games in one with this bad boy. This guy has the instructions and the standard Nintendo thing. The disc looks pretty good. The Fight Night series I always like. I think they hit the echelon of what they can reach with the current gen console because i'll be f honest with you round three was an amazing boxing game some of the best boxing games was the fight night series and just to think it, this evolved from knockout kings which was more of a button masher than anything else the next set of games i got the relaunch re-envisioning re-modernizing of defender it's probably going to be a fucking dreadful game, but it was free, so I can't complain too much. This was the free one, by the way. And Metal Arms was my free game. 
So I paid for the fight night, Billy Hatcher, and I got metal arms for free. Then I got the first Tack and the Power of Juju, which was a cute kidsy type of platformer. Came with the case and instructions. And then I bought the second Tack and the Power of Juju. So I have the first two Tack and the Power of Juju games, which I think is both Tack and the Power of Juju games. But it's, you know, it's a Nickelode it was a Nickelodeon show. This one actually has the Nick Gamer mini magazine in there. So it wasn't too bad. Um, but I would have made it if I got one game. But the allure of buying another game and getting another one free is what really did me in. So unfortunately, $16.22. Technically speaking, $0.22 cents over. So now my next, this is my punishment. My next $15 challenge that I do, which is going to be in a few weeks, I'm going to nerf myself. It's going to be a $15 challenge, but I'm going to have a penalty. Normally I would say $0.22, cents, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to penalize myself. It's going to be a $14.99 challenge. It's going to make it a little more harder in a sense. So, yeah, my next punishment, the next time I do the $15 challenge, I'm going to nerf a dollar from that. So it's going to be the $14.99 video game challenge. doesn't seem like much, but when I can only hit that certain number, trust me, taxes is what did it. Without taxes, I was, in, I was within $15.99. Totally within $15.99. So, yeah, six games for $15. $16 at GameStop, not a bad deal. Um, get them while they got them because they're not going to have the GameCube games much longer. This is Dahmer's Cool Stuff, and as always, do good gaming.